Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a chickpea scramble. I've never done this before, but I'm hoping it turns out really good. I'm going to take garbanzo beans um, and maybe some fresh ginger, some fresh garlic, and I'm gonna kind of saute them together and add some tomatoes because I have tomatoes that are about to go bad. Also, I'm gonna make some breakfast potatoes to go with it. I had a smoothie for breakfast and that's it. Um, so I'm getting kind of hungry and I'm getting ready to do a workout. I'm gonna share that workout with you guys as well. So let's get started on some brunch and then let's kill this workout. <laughs> start first on my breakfast potatoes so all I do is I put a little bit of olive oil I just use this um, extra virgin olive oil I just put a little bit of that in my cast iron pan and I'm letting it preheat then I'm gonna take half of this onion I just did the, this half in slices I'm gonna add that right into the pan and then I'll add my potatoes right in there as well <laughs> First step when preparing this chickpea scramble is just to smash the chickpeas. I just used a potato masher for this part. Also remember to reserve some of the liquid from the chickpeas um, to thin out the scramble later. The next ingredients that I added are onions, garlic, ginger, and tomatoes. And the spices that I'm going to be using today is a curry blend. I love this one by Simply Organic. And also I will be adding some cumin powder. <music> Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. spices and stuff is the onion the garlic the ginger the tomatoes um, and then the simply organic um, curry powder this is my favorite combo so that's kind of why I'm just going with that for this um, uh, scramble so we'll see how it turns out I have never done this before so we'll see also I don't have a stand for this camera right now so I'm like bending down this is normal The actual cooking part to this chickpea scramble is very simple. So I'm just using a little bit of coconut oil as my oil to saute everything in. And then I just directly added in the garlic, ginger, onions, and tomatoes right into the pan. And I'm gonna let this cook at about medium high heat and just till the tomatoes kind of start to stick to the bottom and they've kind of completely softened up. Then I'll go ahead and add in my curry mix as well as a little bit of the cumin and I'll let that cook a little bit as well and then I will go straight in with my smashed chickpeas as well as a little bit of that reserved cooking liquid. Then at this point I'm just going to let it simmer for a few minutes just to kind of let the flavors meld. I'm going to taste for salt and pepper and this did need some salt so I went ahead and added that and then it is ready to serve. Honestly, this is exactly what happens the whole time I'm recording people are always like how do you do this at home? It's very hard like this kind of stuff is happening all day So I'll I'll really just stay hardcore focused For like 30 minutes get a good section of recording done and then I have to go through the house and clean everything up <gasps> Did you get your toes? Did you get your toey? Call me a bubba. Oh, it's okay.
Party with the movies, act out smoothly, make you for the goofies. Pokemon with the hoes, cause I'm choosy. Saying she a foodie, thinking she uni. And she always dressing about uni. Think it's my duty to go and get faded with my goonies. Down shots like Brit Lil Uzi. I done had four long nights this week, try and stack my kills, my kills, my kills. Hit up my spot, gon' chill. Every wish, give me my bills, my bills, my bills. I spit gold too much, might as well make myself some grills, some grills, some grills. Hitting these goals too much, put some beer to the brim, my spill, my spill, my spill. I've been out way too long, wonder when I'm gonna find the cusp I'll be with the special kids, no way you can ride my bus Box jumps can be very intimidating, but try not to substitute this movement for step ups You really want to utilize that full plyo movement This is what's really going to help you get stronger and burn the most amount of calories I'm gonna get roots, I get profit, just listen to When I pop, break the blocks, do my dance in my cross And I know pop, it's a monster, foo foo sauce for your pasta I got aluminium in my body, you got a lot of face shit around you I'ma go slide in my socks like a dolly, for the last time this ain't no hobby <laughs> Let's talk about composting So we used to always compost we did have roosters and i think the main reason why we were really composting in the beginning stages were because we were essentially feeding those roosters um so in my mind that's what i was using my compost for i don't have a garden or anything so once our roosters were gone i really felt like there was no need to compost anymore and it felt slightly inconvenient so i just stopped composting altogether well here recently i've been doing a lot of research on um zero waste i don't know that we would ever be a ever be able to go zero waste just because where we're at um, we don't really have grocers or anything like that to, or co-ops or anything like that to where um, we could go fully zero waste but I've been trying to make little changes every day so I in my mind I thought it was totally fine to throw my any kind of organic matter or foods or anything like that in the trash can because it would decompose that's not the case so in all my research I found and I don't know all the like deep science behind it. I haven't really researched a lot, but I have found out that in order for something to organically decompose and either turn into dirt or turn into nutrients for something else, um, it has to have oxygen. So when you have all those scraps and everything in your trash bag, that trash bag closes off um, the oxygen source as well as when it ends up going to the landfill, all that trash gets packed on top of each other um, and it kind of just turns into this like um, sludgy liquid and it also releases um, methane gases. So it's really terrible. <laughs> I mean, you're taking something that was once 
great source of nutrients for the soil um, and could even turn into soil on its own. Um, and now we've turned it into something toxic just by not thinking of a good process of actually eliminating it. Um, so what we've been doing lately is we have put Lila in charge of all of our composting. All right, ready? Oh wait, hold on. Why is this zoom so much? Come on, let's go dump the compost. This is compost because I feed worms now. Okay. Um, the other day she was, she found a bunch of worms and she's been really just obsessing over worms. And so we were explaining to her, you know, worms eat, um, food that's kind of like de decaying and compost and, and like decaying leaves. And so we told her, you know, if you want, we can start giving you the compost and you can take it out. So that has been her job now. She's been taking out the compost and feeding her worms. What happens is the compost will break down and it'll turn into the door. Yeah, and then the worms will eat the food, right, as it decomposes. And so you're feeding the worms and you're making the soil have lots of different nutrients, right? Yeah. So everybody should compost, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even gammy. Even gammy? <laughs> it's just a small step towards be eliminating some of our waste. And I also noticed that I'm actually using a little bit less plastic by composting again because at the end of the night, like if I had onions or some kind of food in the trash that kind of smelt bad, I would always just go ahead and even if the bag wasn't full, I'd just throw it out. Well, now I don't have to do that because I don't have food in the trash. Um, so I feel like I am actually taking the trash out less as well. So yeah, one step towards less waste. Okay guys, you know I just did a video, but you cannot wait. Um, just so you know, we really need you to hit the thumbs up button, just because Mama has been doing so many videos for you guys to watch, and we really hope you like it, because if we don't, we don't know what will happen. So, we need you to hit that thumbs up button for Mommy, because Mommy is the Bye guys!